Hi everybody, today's video is on Voorhees. Voorhees is often the control leader of Nilfgaard. Why? Because he gets a look at the top three cards of his deck. That means he gets to make a choice, and those choices are often responses to whatever your opponent's doing. If you're responding to your opponent, then you're a control player. So Voorhees becomes the control leader because that kind of option way of thinking. So if you're a value player, you don't care what your opponent's playing. You're just dumping stuff onto the board and hoping your opponent doesn't have an answer to it. Voorhees, and that that dumping stuff onto the board is more of a Amir and uh, Calvay answer way of playing. You often see in Voorhees decks, Aromancy, Rock Tossers, uh, Geralt Igni, maybe even a Yennefer. Just, your, your goal is just to get your opponent to not have an answer to whatever you're doing. Rod Tossers are all, almost played in all Boris decks. They're played in a lot of Nilfgaard decks, but they're played in all, almost all Boris decks. If you're not running as much weather as I am in this particular deck, you'll be running Nilfgaardian Knights. Nilfgaardian Knights are just a really powerful value card. You can out if you were to take a turn from Swim, this would be tempoing out your opponent. Because the revealing the card in your hand isn't a big deal, typically. Now, with that said, we're going to now judge Voorhees. Is Voorhees a good leader? I don't think Nilfgaard has the kind of cards necessary to kind of push ahead. But Nil Voorhees is one of the most popular, from a competitive point of view, leaders in the game because he's consistent and he's a great control option he wasn't controlling very well during the dwarf scene for some reason but i think that he could have with it because he has he just rot tosser into weather and we'll get to that it might have been because there's so many like answers to rot tossers and that's why Voorhees is struggling you can just cleaver them uh the cow carcass or you can Blue uh, Mounted Commando, the back to your opponent, Decoy, Athena, them back to your opponent. Those things could really disrupt the Voorhees. So, that being said, we're going to now talk about the deck. This deck focuses on the interaction between Weather and Rot Tosser. The Rot Tosser, play, uh, you play the Rot Tosser, your opponent thinks, oh, I, I, like there's like a small thing on my board or something that my units are safe because they're different strength values Well, then you just play that weather all the strength values get knocked to one and the board that row is clear Let's say if your opponent's being Scoia'tael They might think they're safe from the cow carcass because they have like a hawker healer on the row and so it's not The hawker healer will take the hit from the cow carcass they have a bunch of first lights that they can play but then you play the Aromancy, they don't get the chance to respond to the weather before the cow carcass goes off. And so the whole row is deleted. That, again, that's the main strategy of this deck. Because we're playing so much weather, we need to have the Alba Pikeman. We also take the Alba Spearman, which when they're played, they're not going to get hurt by the weather because the Quen sign effect on it is going to protect it. We get some card advantage with Siri. We're playing with Geralt Ard kind of as an experiment. Since we have weather in the deck, we might want to try Geralt Ard to delete things. If there's a pesky, if we want to keep some strength, kind of like on our uh, on Anahid, we can use the Blizzard Potion to protect Anahid. Anahid is really a targeted against Skellige, so you throw cards you don't want to deal with, like Armor Smith, back into their deck, and then you're safe. You can't. Throwing that armor smith back into their deck is probably the most important thing against Skellige that you can do. Not all of them are playing. Not all of them are playing uh, armor smith because there's not a lot of weather in the meta, which is why I'm making a weather deck. Because the less weather there is, the more you should be playing weather. <laughs> Anything that's rare is often good in Gwent. And it's kind of what makes Gwent a really fun game to play. What your opponent doesn't expect is your greatest strength. Now let's move on. We're going to play some games, and I hope you kind of enjoy that. Uh, we're going to play a game, and I hope you guys enjoy it.
I guess the mirror, you My really men want them the to play the Mangonel so then you just pass and then steal them with the Guevara medics. You want to steal their very um, archetype and use it against them. So we're going to drop out the Albal Spearmen, we'll drop out the Albal Pikemen. And, uh, I think this will be fine. Kahir is really strong against the mirror. Uh, Vicovaro medics are something I want to keep. So we're going to also want to keep our cleaver. I had Sarah in this deck at one point. I might try Yennefer as well. Mm. We're just going to play this to buy. I shall do as you can. We want to have something that forces him to play multiple cards. Going to now stun that. Lock that up. He can pick it up, but it won't. Okay. Now we're going to play a rock tosser. He might use a leader ability now. He might lock that up. I warned you. Okay. This is when we use our weather card, so we're going to use this. This is kind of unfortunate. This hurts our card at the top, but it will kill all his things up there. Oop, we're gone. Praise be to the great sun! Now in this situation, we want to, uh, we could Vicovaro medic his uh, other card. We're going to now take a card from our deck. If it's peace you desire, and prepare we'll for war. Albo Pikeman. We want him to start playing some more cards. We know he has a Vigil Forts, so we have to take that into account. Once he plays the Vigil Forts, then we're greetings. Safe. What is it? Uh, we can play a Kahir. I am no Nose Guardian. We're not really worried about him using his leader ability. There is but one punishment for traitors. Okay. We could have actually um, taken out a Mangonel from his graveyard at that point. What else does he have in his graveyard? Uh, we don't want to play into that. Don't make me laugh. We want to force him to pass. Longer this goes, the better. Long live the Emperor! Okay, that's fine. Yes. We know he has a big old forts, so we can't play the rock tosser until that's played. Order will triumph. It must triumph. Okay, I'm gonna keep. Waiting. If it's peace you desire, prepare for war. Nine strength onto the board. He knows that Anything he plays will uh, get used against him. We could have just. Yeah, you mistake the stars one. reflected in a pond for the night sky. No, he does not have a roach. That's Beast fine. or man it makes no difference to me. I forget what this does. Oh, it uh, damages things for his money. Uh, he's probably going to hit my elbow pikeman.
Okay, and then he has a Dime Iridium Bomb that we have to play around. Well, actually, we don't have to play around Dime Iridium Bomb, so... Is, is it a decoy? It's a decoy. Okay, and we just simply pass. We know he has that card, so he just passes. He's used his card, we get our Siri back. Yeah, he sees our hand. Ooh. He knows what's in our hand, for the most part. Um, I think we're only going to get use of one of those. Okay. The Dimarine Shackles is going to be much more important. There is but one punishment for traitors. Uh. Uh, we're gonna want that. Race me to the great sun! Oh no, I made a mistake. Utter your wish, and I shall make it so. Okay. That was a mistake of mine. We're going to be casting Dimerium Shackles as the waste card in our hand. He sees everything in our hand, so... We know he has a Dimerium Shackle. We pass. I shouldn't have uh, dropped the people bar on Medic. That was my bad. I need them. Badly. Okay, we're gonna drop one of the Dimerium Shackles. That would be good. We could have also dropped the weather. Probably has spotters in his hand. Let's we'll see if he can deal with the Ragnarok. There's been a mistake. I'm no mage. Shield and save me some time. going to get rid of the uh, effect, and then we're just going to play Light Frost. And we win! Weather wins against my enemy, Amir. We're going to do one... So that's weather deck for today. Ah, oh, God. It, it was um, not a good day for weather. Weather has been nerfed quite a bit. All kinds. These, these games that we play... That was fun. Uh, Fire Scorpion. Fire Scorpion is just the. It looks like a wee, weaker Albalest, but it's actually. I think it's 
for telling the machine tag. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody.